Hey coders and welcome to episode 4 of our slide servers playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about shapes also known as text boxes. So the top 7 methods for this video are as shape, get shapes, insert shape, insert text box, get text, as string, and set text. So let's jump into the code and see what we can do. If you remember from an earlier video, a page element is basically a broad classification for any of the content or any of the data that goes on a slide. So if we again look at our, our slide right here, you can see that we have eight different page elements on here and it's just basically any of the content that goes on a slide. But let's say that we're working with shapes and we want to change the text on this shape. Well, what we're gonna have to do First off is we're going to have to now convert that page element into a shape and the method that we use to do that is called as shape. So this is something called type conversion and this is just app scripts or uh, slides app way of doing a type conversion is they give you a method it's called as shape and then after that you can use something like get text. So why do you have to do a type conversion? Why, why can't you just get the text off of any old page element? Well, the reason for that is because let's say you're trying to get, uh, or you're trying to get this uh, page element, but you accidentally get uh, this line, and there is absolutely no text on this line, so that doesn't even make sense trying to get the text off of this page element, right? So this is, I guess, just one way of Google or App Script developers protecting the uh, individual developers from trying to get, say, getting the text off of any old page element, it just won't work, there's no method for it. And again, this ties back into App Script, or at least uh, Slides app being very heavily uh, object oriented. So let's again, so that is going to be as shape, right, right here. Let's just store this in a constant and we'll call this a shape. But let's move on now to the next method. And the next method is get shapes. So this is one way we could do it. We could first, if we were, if we were concerned about uh, just the shapes on the screen, this is one way we could do it. We could just say, all right, get all the page elements and then we're gonna filter by just the shapes. But there's a simpler way to do it and that is first getting the slide and then typing in get shapes. So this will return an array of shapes. So let's just log this onto our log and again this is this will return all of the shapes that are on this specific slide so if we did this correctly it should just return one shape and it will be that one all right let's view our logs and there it is one element in this array in this array and it is of type a shape just like we said get shapes awesome so that is get shapes now let's talk about inserting shapes so the method to do this is very simple again. It is shape or slide dot insert shape. And there are three different options. One is uh, passing the uh, shape in there. So let's say we have a shape that we like and we wanted to insert that on a slide somewhere. We could just pass that shape directly into, um, into this method get shape. The other uh, two options are if we don't have a shape that's already pre-made, we could uh, just give a generic shape type and we could say insert shape uh, and then give it a generic shape type. And then this last option is the same as the second, but you can now position that shape anywhere on the slide. So let's just for completeness, 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 let's uh, choose this last option and we'll give it a shape type. This is going to be a slides app enum. We'll say slides app shape type. And then if we hit the period button, you can see a huge list of different shapes that we are given access to. So let's highlight one of them and that is text box. So here is the reason why I say text boxes are also shapes. If you go into your slide and you say, all right, I'm going to manually insert a shape and let's just pick one like this one. This doesn't look like a text box at all, right? But if you click on it, and you start typing, you can see that uh, words and letters are appearing on here. So every single shape is a text box 
and if you just manually inputted a text box, that is also a shape, uh, but it just has a transparent back background, basically. So, let's go back, and let's not do a text box, let's do something like a starburst. Alright, so these parameters right here are going to be in pixels, let's say left of 100, top of 50, let's give it a width of 150, and a height of 100. Alrighty, let's hit save, we'll run it. And there it is right here. Here is our shape that we just inserted, and it has a uh, left, it is left of, uh, or it is, it is 100 pixels away from the left-hand side of the screen, or of the slide at least, and 50 pixels from the top. Alrighty, let's get rid of that just for now. And we'll comment that out. The next one that we're going to talk about is insert text box. So, since text boxes are extremely popular shapes that are used all the time, you could just say insert shape, right? You could just say insert shape and then give it the shape type of text box, or you could just uh, say insert text box. So again, since it's extremely popular, App Script just decided to make their own uh, method and call it insert text box. So again, you can position it, but since we already highlighted that here, let's just say Insert text box, we'll give it uh, some uh, text, and we'll say, how are you? Alrighty, again, if you don't give it any parameters up here for positioning, it's just going to position it in the top left-hand corner. Uh, left is going to be zero, top is going to be zero, and here is our text box. Wonderful. Well, let's get rid of that for now, though. So that's in insert text box. So now let's say we want to get the text from a text box. So let's say we liked this shape right here, and we want to get the text from that. Well, we would first need to get that, right, as a page element, say. And here we go. We actually have it right here. So we have the shape. And now that we have a shape, we can access the method getText. But as you can see, this actually just returns a text range. So we're going to need to convert it one more time into a string by using the method, the type conversion method as string. So if you remember what I said a while back, um, slides app is extremely object oriented. So first we're getting a presentation and then a slide and then a page element and then converting it into a shape and then getting the text range and then finally converting it one more time into a string and all that is being done just so that we can get uh, these few words and letters. All right, so again, there's a lot of steps to it, but if you practice and, and just get more experience with all of this, you'll become a master in no time. It will be second nature to you. All right, so we're going to wait for those logs, but it should return just uh, the text that was in that shape. And here it is. I am a shape and a text box. Wonderful. Let's verify that. Yep, that is it. So let's go over one more method, and that is set text. So let's say we wanted to change the text in here, or if there's no text in here at all, let's say we wanted to add some text, and that is a method off of the class of text range. So since we're getting that text range from the method get or get text, we can now set that text, give it a string. Let's say I am more officially known as a shape. Alrighty, let's hit save and we'll run it. Ran successfully and booyah, there we go. Our shape and our text has changed to I am more officially known as a shape. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something in it. If you did like it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you in the next one.